Alright, yo, what's going on everybody? It's Smittybag with another video. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get custom skins on Xbox. This is for Xbox Series X and Xbox One. This is after they completely removed MC Add-ons Manager, completely yeeted that program, which is very nice. And they also got rid of uh, Internet Explorer downloading, which is very annoying. But where there's a will, there's a way, and we have a way to get this for you guys. By the way, if you want to get this uh, shader pack that I have on right now, also on Xbox, got a video on that. I'll link in the description, too. I just want to add, if you have any problems at all during this tutorial, feel free to leave a question down in the comments as I respond to every single comment ever made. Anyways, subscriptions or likes are greatly appreciated. Here's all the skins that you can get here in this video. This is gonna be like 500 skins Let's get right into this how to get the skins on Xbox So the first thing we need to do is download three applications for your Xbox So what you want to do is go down here where it says my games and app You want to click on that then what you want to do is look on the left here You want to go down to apps and where it says apps you want to scroll over to where it says Microsoft Store Because that is where we'll be getting the apps from so once you have the store open What you want to do is go to the search bar right here And the first one you want to type in is you want to type in my files just like this and you'll see the application right there You want to get my files explore it's currently purple like this, but this is the one that you want uh, I got it for free somehow, but I think it might be a couple dollars, but I think there's also a free trial, so just get the free trial, do that, and yes, make sure you get that application downloaded. Then what you want to do is go back to the search bar, and you want to type in internet browser just like this, and you'll see this free internet browser that looks like this, and you want to download that one. This is because they recently ruined the, the Internet Explorer on Xbox with downloads, so you have to go ahead and get a different uh, browsing source, and we're going to go with internet browser just like this one right here. Get that downloaded. Then what you want to do is go back to the search bar and you want to type in Expansion 4 and then you want to get this one in here, Expansion 4 Explorer it's called. It looks like this, make sure you get that installed and that is the third and final application that you need to get this to work, so we should be good then. So after you have all those installed, you will now see them on your home screen and the first one you want to go into is the internet browser just like this. So once the browser loads up, you want to press Y on your controller and that will bring up this URL searcher in the top right here. Now in this URL, you have to type in the URL of the download page. It's kind of a long link and you actually have to type it in completely correct, otherwise it won't work. But go ahead and type this in in there, www.meetupfire.com slash file slash all those letters and numbers. Just enter that and it will take you to the correct website. Feel free to pause the video now just to make sure you can type that in there and get it in right. But anyways, once you're done with that, what you want to do is make sure you have it all selected. Then what you want to do is press the button on your controller with the three lines. And then you want to go right here where it says copy and you want to click copy just like that. You want to make sure you did that correctly, and now what you want to do is simply just go ahead and close out of the internet browser, as you are fine. If you have that copied, you're safe. Go ahead and close it. And when I say close it, I mean you literally want to go to the home page, and you want to press on it with that three-line button, and you want to go ahead and hit quit right here. And that will basically just reset the app for you. So go ahead, press quit, and then open it back up. So once it loads back up here, you'll be greeted with this screen right about here. Now what you want to do is not press anything. All you got to do is press that button on your controller with the three lines. And you want to go right here to where it says paste. And simply click paste just like that. And it will put the entire URL that you entered in, into the, uh, the search bar just like that. And then you want to go over to this arrow right here. And you want to click that. And that will basically proceed you to the website where you're going to download the skins. So once the website loads up, all you want to do is go to the big blue download button. And you just want to go ahead and click that simply just like this. It'll say, do you want to open or save? You want to click save just like that. Perfect name. And then after waiting a couple seconds, this little notification will pop up saying your download was complete and you just want to hold the center button and it will take you to this screen right here. Now from the screen what you want to do is go to these three buttons right here right next to the download that you just did. You want to go to save as just like this and then that will take you to this screen right here. Now from the screen you want to go on the left side right there. You want to click this button right here and then this will take you to about the right places. You want to go right here over to downloads and then feel free to click downloads and then save it into that folder. So make sure it says this device downloads in the top and then you can just go ahead and click save and that will be perfect. It'll kick you out just like this but that's perfectly fine because we are done with this step. Uh, go ahead close out of the internet browser and all that stuff. We are done with this part. Now let's go and open up My Files Explorer. So once inside of My Files Explorer, what you want to do is go up to the top right here where these three buttons are. And all you want to do is simply click on them. You want to go down to where it says Add Folder to Library, just like this. Wait a second, let it load. And then it will take you to this screen right here. Now what you want to do is not click anything. You want to go to the left, go down one, and then click on this button right here. And then you should see all these options right here. But you don't want to click any of them. Don't click any of them. All you have to do is simply go down to where it says Select, and that is perfect. You don't have to click any of the folders. Just simply hit this device, Select, just like that. And it will create a new file called User Manager, User Whatever Merger 0, just like this. Perfect. So after doing that, you can close out of My Files Explorer, and what you want to do is go over to the, to the uh, last application that we installed called Expansion for Explorer. Remember, it looks like this. Open that up, and you'll be greeted with this page right here. So from here, what you want to do is go up to the top left here where it says User Manager, or whatever that file that we just made, that name, and then you want to go over to where it says Downloads right here, and in the Downloads, you need to look for your Minecraft YouTubers uh, file, .zip file. It'll be right here, and all you want to do is hover over it, click that button with the three lines on it, go ahead and click Copy right here, and that will basically copy the file, and we need to move that into our Skin Pack folder. So in order to do that, we need to go to the left here where it says User Generated Content. Now from there, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find the Skin Pack folder, which is very easy. It says MC Skin Pack. Click on that. It will be blank in here, but that's perfectly normal. Click the button with three lines on it and hit Paste just like that, and that will put the zip file into the correct place, into the Skin Packs folder. 
Now once you have the .zip file in here, there's one more step. All you gotta do is click on it again and you wanna hit extract right here because it is a zip file so we wanna get the folders out of there. So let that extract, it'll take a couple minutes, I sped it up here. But just like that, when it's done you'll see that you have the folder called Minecraft YouTubers there and that is perfect. You can go ahead, delete the zip file, and all you want in there is just that folder with the skins pretty much. Make sure it's in the right place, make sure it says skin packs in the top left. And that is literally all you have to do, you're good to go start up the game. And yes, we'll get into that part right now. So we aren't quite done yet as there is one more step to do, but once you get to this menu screen here, you'll see loading resource packs. Now once that gets done, you don't want to click any buttons here from the Minecraft menu screen. All you want to do is simply hit the center button, you want to go over to your profile here, and you just want to sign out. Just trust the process, you got to sign out to get this to work. So click sign out, don't worry, we'll sign back in in a second here. But click sign out and it will automatically basically restart the game with you signed out, and that's perfectly normal. Let the game restart, let it load up, and then you'll get back to the menu screen just like this. So after you've signed out and you let the game reload, all you want to do is simply not press any buttons, and again you want to hit the home button and then go into your user profile on the right here and you want to click sign back in. So this will completely sign you back in. It might take a little bit because it has to sync user data and reload the resource packs, which is perfectly normal because once you're done uh, loading the resource packs, if you go into your dressing room right here, you click edit character just like this. Oh, you can see my, my skins that I already had there. Go into edit character and then from this menu, what you want to do is hit RB once to go to the right and then you want to go to owned and under there you'll find your 500 basically custom YouTuber Minecraft skins. Really cool. You can pick whichever one you want and when you find the one that you want, simply press equip and it will equip it for you. So right here, I decided to go with this little hot dog skin right here. I think it looks cool. So so I go ahead, I just equip it just like that, and then what you want to do is load up any world as you normally would, and you will notice that you have the skin on. Really cool. As you can see, I do indeed have the hot dog skin on. But yeah, that is how you get the custom skins on your Xbox. To basically access them from in-game, you want to go into your dressing room from the pause menu just like this. You can pick whichever skin you want, go over to Dream, pick him, edit, do whatever. It's just this menu right here, you guys know how to navigate it. Very simple, very cool, and that is indeed how you get hundreds, hundreds of custom skins, and it's really, really useful. But again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Uh, if you have any problems, leave it down in the comments down below. As always, I respond to everyone. Appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day. It's been Spitty. Until the next one, peace out, y'all.